Jacob. A lot of great talent throughout college baseball represented at every level in the FCBL. Yes, every team in the Futures League has talent from throughout the country and New England. You get to see some wonderful local talent as well as players from throughout the country and that'll be on full display here Here's today. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Line deep right field. Going back is Martino. That ball is long gone. A two-run Titanic blast off the bat of Colby Brulette. And the Vermont Lake Monsters tie the game at two. What a blast from Brulette. Ball is down for a hit. Spur cuts it off from left center and he overran it. The first one was going to score anyway. Here comes Klein. The relay throw from Ali. Not in time. A feet first slide from Jackson Klein. He takes advantage of the spur error in center field. And Vermont's bats continue to show up. That's a great piece of hitting with two strikes by Gio Cueto. And the Lake Monsters extend their lead. They're now up 6-2. to two. A 3-2 pitch. Runners don't go. And that ball's driven deep right field. Going back to Martino. Home run, Tommy Hawk. Way over the signs in deep right field. A three-run bomb for Hawk. And Vermont's offense does not stop. Lake Monsters extend the lead. Trying run in the on-deck circle. Here's the 0-1. Slider hammered. Deep left field. There it goes. Gone! Jack Ryan, a grand slam. The wildest game of the year continues to deliver. This is now a one-run game. Can you believe what is happening at Centennial Field? Oh, my word. The Pittsfield Suns have trimmed this to a one-run game on a no doubt about it grand salami from Jack. One ball, two strikes. Righty against righty with Spur, the runner on first. Both seeds, one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ball game over, Vermont wins. What a thriller from Centennial Field. Your final score, the Pittsfield Suns, 13. The Vermont Lake Monsters, 14. Let's see whether Claiborne runs, he does, and the pitcher swung on a miss. Paris's throw to second base is... In time, they got him. Jason Claiborne never slid. I think he thought it was ball four. He went in standing up. Sam Sherman applied the tag to a leaping Claiborne trying to avoid Sherman's glove. That ball pokes left side, base hit. Beautiful two out opposite field hitting by Jason Claiborne. Grounding one through the third base shortstop hole. He trickled on through to enable Nickel to score and the Bees take their first lead of the game on the base knock by Claiborne. Henry's 1-2. Grounded up the middle. Sherman moves towards his right. He takes it to the bag himself. And Jared Henry gets through the inning unscathed. Works around two hit by pitches and a walk. Now Henry will walk back to the dugout. Jared sneaks his way through the inning without allowing any runs. We head to the 10th, the 2-1. Hammered into right field. It is going. Goal! Go walk up home run for Tyler Pedarini. New Britain crushes the Pittsfield Suns playoffs hopes. They win 6-5 they're led by a guy who had a great year at the division three level with Endicott and he's continuing it this summer in Caleb Spur. Caleb Spur helped Endicott reach the NCAA tournament this year and Spur has continued to really dominate the Futures League this year. The speedy center fielder batting 364, 12 RBIs and is one of the fastest guys in the league. He will be a player to watch for sure today. And for the home team, Nashua, they're represented by a terrific local talent heading to begin his career at Boston College in the ACC and Kyle Wolf. And Wolf has been excellent. He's a really big power hitter in the Futures League. For Nashua, Wolf batting 357, five home runs, 18 RBIs. He's one of the best power bats in the league before he takes his talents to 
Boston College, as you said, and Wolf has really been good for Nashua this season. Jonah Walker from Concord, New Hampshire. He has been sensational the, in this season, the best pitcher in the Futures League, a 1.44 ERA, making his fifth start of the year, averages over a strikeout per inning, and look at the walk ratio, just one in 25 innings pitched. Walker has been the best pitcher in the league, and now he goes up for the first time this season against a Suns team that has not yet defeated the Nashua Silver Knights. Jonah Walker, he's heading into his sophomore year at Tulane, the younger brother of Nashua reliever Noah Walker. And Jonah Walker is coming off a brilliant seven shutout innings last time out against Vermont, where he allowed just two hits, struck out seven. Walker is pitching on an extra day of rest, so we'll see if that plays any role. Good play by the shortstop, Alex Gabauer. As we look at the Suns' defense, Jack Ryan catching Cole Wachowski at third, Gabauer at short, Sean McGee at second. Marco Ali plays first. The Suns do not have a natural first baseman, so it can always be a bit of an adventure over there. Brennan Hyde is in left, Caleb Spur in center, and Bo Bramer gets his first start of the year in right field. He typically plays center for the Suns. And they're also going to love that quick bat. Man, he turned on that one, yanking it foul. Well, once again, Wolf is showing just how quick his hands are inside. Geiger ran that two seam in on Wolf there, and he still was able to get the bat head out in front. He just pulled it a little too far foul. Double. And we're really seeing how good Kyle Wolf is. That's a great opposite field swing, almost inside outs that ball into right field. He hit a double. His first at bat's on the left field line, this one down the right field line. Great hitters use the whole field for extra bases, and that's exactly what Wolf has done today. That's a fantastic read by Kyle Wolf right there. Paltridge was showing bunt so early that Nashua was able to see what Pittsfield was doing for their bunt defense. They had both corners crashing. The shortstop, Gabauer, is frozen at second. And then McGee covering first. The play worked to perfection. 